that's how Refuge Temple Church of Flint was birthed. And it is a place where low class, middle class, high class, no job, judges, all gather into one place and look to one man, Jesus, and worship together in the beauty of holiness. Wow, that's remarkable. That's where we are today. That's remarkable. I mean, when I went to the church, um, Pastor, of course, you have, um, and, and it's not just um, young people, but you, you, God has really evolved you with all types of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have the young, the old, the middle age, I mean, all of those people, because it has to be that your word that you give to them is drawing those people. What do you what do you feel today that most churches really need? What 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 do you feel? That oh, most churches wonderful really question. Need? Wonderful question. I think there's three things. Number one, a foundation of prayer, mm. a priority of the word, mm. and a demand on the Holy Ghost. Wow. And if we can make these three things the essential uh, crux of our gatherings. God's going to bring the harvest in. Jesus. And that is what's happening in Flint. Uh, we have uh, over 50% baby boomers wow. that make up our congregation. Really? Um, and it's a gathering young and old. And uh, we're, we're, we're becoming more diverse, which I believe that's what the church has to look like. But if we can do those three things, Dr. Cole, yes. as a musician, I can very easily, if not careful, use my talents and build the church. Ooh, wow. But the church won't mature mm -hmm. on talent alone. You got to have prayer, the Word of God, and the Holy Ghost abiding with fervency. Uh, we, we pray more than we do anything else. Mm -hmm. We have prayer 5 a.m. in the morning, and the saints come out, and, and that's how we grow a church. Wow. We, oh, that's so powerful. That is so powerful because we do need that. It, the foundation has to be there. I know um, sometimes the churches, you know, we, we, we go to different heights and we go to, from glory to glory, mm -hmm. but you have to have that foundation. And that's what I've, I'm, I've seen that when I walked in your church, I saw that, you know, the, the gathering and the people coming. Um, and I even had prophesied to you, um, even on the couch here, that he has so much land around him and I see such great vision sure because did. God can trust you with it. And I, I, I want you to just keep going, keep going. Uh -huh. There's so much that God wants to do through you. And his singing is just impeccable. I mean, he, he's, he's really one of my favorite singers. He really is. That's why he was singing on the beginning of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't let everybody sing with me. No, no, right. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I do. I love his voice. Um, his range is just That's out of so this much. world. And um, I just I appreciate you coming to be on the show. You got to come back. You got to come I'll back. I'll be happy to. I, I, I just I know you got to I know you got this mega ministry, but I just want you to just come back and be with me and sit on my couch and talk. Be delighted to do it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. This is my friend, Pastor Sian Thompson, all the way from Flint, Michigan. And he is such a dear friend of mine and uh, one of my favorite singers. We're going to have a song from him in just a minute. But I want to say that um, it's a, a young lady that I really wanted to kind of give a shout out to. Of course, um, she is known in world renowned. Everybody knows her, Aretha Franklin, um, who is really just doing so good in the community and doing charitable work. Um, and the, this Thanksgiving coming up and on Thanksgiving she is actually having a, a community effort where she's having it at her church her father's church New Bethel and um, she's having song singers come from everywhere of course yours truly will be there and I just want to give a shout out to her and we're definitely praying for um, Aretha and God bless you if you're watching or those of you that know her, just let her know that I'm giving her a shout out and my prayers are definitely with her she has been doing some great things in the community um, at different churches and I want you all to know that so who knows she just may be on the shelf that's why you got to keep watching. But I love you, friends. Thank you so much for joining the Dorinda Show. And I look forward to seeing you this time. Same station right here on TCT, the greatest network around on the Dorinda Show. I love you. I'm your host, Dorinda Clark Cole, and we look to see you soon. Right now, we're going to hear a song from my favorite singer, Pastor Sian Thompson. A Right Now Praise.
Just one praise away from my blessing If I just reach down inside To the depths of my soul And bring forth Right now praise Already in me Hallelujah for you are just one praise from your breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. You're just one praise away from your blessing. If you just reach down inside to the depths of your soul and bring forth. Yeah. 